how to install Android QGSI on the Motorola Moto X4. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Android QGSI on your Motorola Moto X4. As you can see, right now I'm running stock Android version 9.0, aka Android Pi. Do note, you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you also need to have Twerp Recovery installed. I have separate videos for both of those and they are linked in the description of this video. Another thing you need to make sure is that you have backed up your data because we're going to do a factory reset of your device and we will also do a format data so you are going to lose all your videos, pictures, call logs, SMS messages. Make sure you have backed those things up. Next thing you need to do is you need to go into settings and then you will go into accounts and remove your Google account. Once you have removed your Google account, you will go into security and location and then you need to remove your screen lock and your fingerprint. Once you have removed these things, you need to reboot your Motorola Moto X4 once to confirm that the Google account and your security settings have been removed. We are removing these things because we're going from Android Pi to Android QGSI and I don't want you peeps to be locked out of your own device. All the files and applications which I will be using in this video are linked in the description of the video. Let's first open Z Archiver. This is one of the applications you need. First thing you need is the copy partitions zip file. Then you need this boot.img, which is a special version made by Airfan for Android Q. Then you need the .7z Android Q GSI again made by airfan and we will be using z archiver which is this very application to unzip this dot 7 z file to get the image file then you need this lineage os version which is saba hyphen 4.0 unofficial this is a special version of lineage os made by airfan again and you need the twerp recovery installer zip file next we will click on this dot 7 z file and then click on extract here once the 7z file has extracted successfully, we have this new .img file, which is our Android Q GSI image file. Next thing we need to do is we need to boot into Twerp Recovery. To do that, the first thing we need to do is we need to turn off our Motorola Moto X4. Once we have turned the phone off, we need to press and hold volume down and power at the same time till we see the fast boot screen. Once we are at the fast boot screen, we will use the volume rockers to navigate. And once you see the option for recovery mode, you will press the power button to select recovery mode. This will ensure that we boot into TWRP recovery. Once we have booted into TWRP recovery, we will click on wipe, click on advanced wipe, and you need to select Dalvik data system. Do not select internal storage, just Dalvik data and system, and then swipe to wipe. Once this is done, we will click on the home button, click on install, and the first zip file which we need to flash is the copy partitions zip file. We will select the file and then Swipe to confirm flash. Once copy partitions zip file has flashed successfully, click on the home button, click on install. The next zip file which we need to flash is the lineage OS zip file, which is the unofficial version by Irfan. We will click on this file and then select it. Then click on add more zips and select the Twerp Recovery Installer zip file, which is this one, and then swipe to confirm flash. Once lineage OS and Twerp zip file have finished installing, click on the home button. And then we need to click on reboot. As you can see, my current slot is right now A. We need to click on reboot into recovery, at which point my slot will change to B. If your current slot is B, it will change to A. So we will click on recovery and then ignore the message of no OS installed. Swipe to reboot. Back into TWRP recovery, if we click on reboot, you can see my slot changed to B. We will click on the home button, go into install. Click on install image and the first image file which we need to install is the Android Q GSI, which is this one pixel hyphen AB hyphen 10. Select this file and then on the next screen select system image and then swipe to confirm flash. Once Android Q GSI image file has flashed successfully, click on the home button, click on install, select install image one more time, and this time we need to install the 
boot.img file which is this one select it on the next screen select boot make sure you change it to boot do not install it on system image so boot is checked and then swipe to confirm once boot image has flashed successfully click on the home button click on wipe click on format data type in yes do note this is where we are removing all your pictures videos so there's no going back from this point once you have confirmed that you have a backup of these things click on the check mark button once format data has finished successfully all we need to do is click on reboot system and bam there we have it google boot animation in the building which means we are booting into android q on a motorola moto x4 do note the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient another thing which i would like to mention is that do expect some bugs and issues because this is a port from pixel android q build if there are any fixes or any patches those will be mentioned as a pinned comment on this video and bam there we have it android system you get an internal problem with your device no need to worry ignore this message click on ok android beta program in the building click on ok one more time and now let's go into settings and then we will go into about phone click on the android version which is 10 and bam there we have it android q gsi aka android version 10 running like a boss on our motorola moto x4 that will do it for this video peeps i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you and i see you